Hi, Sharon Danny here with another video on wardrobe styling and management. This week it's focal points and applying the principles. And I think I should just interject here that this is not a playlist uh, on showing all kinds of styles, pictures of clothes and things like that. That is the very last thing that we look at. Um, when we look at clothing without knowing why we're looking at it, what we're looking for, what suits us, what's our figure type, what do these colors do, is shopping blind. So what we need is the background to it so that when we do go shopping, we go shopping smart. So this is kind of like the theory of it and you know, it may not be that much fun, but I guarantee you when you've got this down solid, your shopping experiences are going to be much better, more satisfying and more cost effective. Okay, let's get to it. We all know that a focal point draws attention. So how can we use that in clothing? It draws attention and it holds the eyes attention. It can be a clothing detail, pockets, pleats, uh, color, a print, or an accessory. Now my personal preference is monochromatic and that dressing allows for your face and hair to be the focal point. However, strong coloring and or detail uh, becomes the focal point uh, and draws attention away from the face and hair when used that way. The whole objective is to draw attention to where you want to accent your assets and minimize your weaknesses. This is usually understood, but we often ignore it. Think total balance and symmetry when applying the theory. So from head to toe, does the complete package or complete message do what you want it to do? Here's an example. If you want to distract from a heavy neck, use a V-neck rather than a round one. Call attention to a slim waistline by using an eye-catching belt. Or distract attention from large hips with padded shoulders. The key to dressing in a way that flatters your particular body type is to use the principles of line, color, and focus to create a balanced and proportioned frame. These principles can be used to achieve several effects. To minimize figure spots that are oversized or too thin, to maximize figure areas that are trim and proportioned, to shift attention away from problem areas and toward assets, and to balance areas of the figure that are not in proportion. Remember this, it's important. Whether a particular spot is out of harmony depends not only on its actual dimensions, but also on its size in relation to the rest of the body. A few little tricks for some problem areas. For short legs, wear straight leg pants with a jacket that ends at the hip bone or waist and pumps with stockings or socks in the same color family as the pant and jacket. Avoid pant cuffs, capri pants, long sweaters, jackets or tunics, horizontal lines and ankle strap shoes. For short waist, wear waist, waistless and low-waisted dresses, shirts, and pants. Chanel-style jackets, tunics, and long summer sweaters and monochromatic coloring. Avoid high-waisted styles or wide belts, short sweaters and jackets, and different colored tops from bottom. For short waists, wear v-necks, that's the best style, long jackets worn open over pants or shirts. For a full waist, wear uh, v-necks, long jackets worn open over pants or skirts. Avoid fussy, detailed, above waist, ruffles, feathers, puff sleeves, and wide lapels, and short or bolero jackets. For derriere or tummy prominence, wear blouson style, wrap skirts, hip length jackets, A-shaped dresses, and easy tunics, pants, and skirts with controlled fullness at the top. Avoid form-fitting skirts, straight skirts, short battle jackets, light chemises, and belts. So, 
think about your focal points. What is it that you want to showcase, shall we say, to the world? Is it your face and hair or is it your figure itself? What do you want to draw away from? What do you want to focus on? Think about those things in your wardrobe and what it is for you that you want. Then think about what you want to maximize, what you want to minimize, where you want to shift the attention, and how are you going to balance. And looking at pieces then that will fit the different aspects that you want to focus on or pull attention from. Anyway, think about that in conjunction with the other things that we've talked about, and we'll see you next time.